Hi, Happy New Year. Today it's the 1st of January and welcome to our meditation on grace. We meditated on grace from March, April last year in, uh, during the, the, the lockdown here in France. And then we kept on meditating after the lockdown. And now um, I try to make a meditation every day. So the, today we are in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 7. I became a servant of this gospel by the gift of God's grace, given me through the working of his power. I became a servant. Paul was a terrible person. He was a terrorist. He, he killed people, innocent people. He persecuted all the disciples of Christ, those who were called then the people of the way. They persecuted them. He was a religious person, which didn't um, uh, prevent him from being such a mean person, such a bad person. But God, on, when he was on his way, when Paul was was on his way to, to Syria, to Damascus, he was taught by the, the, the power of G, the risen Christ. And his life changed completely. And he became, as he says, he a servant of the good news, a servant of the gospel. And he's been talking here about this mystery revealed to him which is this new humanity that God has created in Christ through the blood of the Lamb. And he says, this is a gift of God's grace to him. He didn't deserve to have such a revelation because he was who he was. And he actually says in verse 8, although I am less than the least of the Lord's people. The word here, it's a small. And people think that it's because he was petit, because he wasn't very tall. But it's, in, it's maybe because he, he thinks without this grace, he is very little, he is very small, he is nobody. It is because of God's grace that he can receive and write and share this good news. And he has become a slave of this uh, gospel he's saying here. So this message of Paul here, this message of the mystery, it's a message of reconciliation. It's a message of peace because it talks about the body of Christ that is made up of, from, of people from different backgrounds, different nations, big, small, tall, uh, black, white, all colors, all races. I mean, just there is only one race, the human race, all ethnic groups from all over the world. And Christ has given all these people his peace. And Paul is telling us here that he has become a servant of this message by grace. So I pray that in 2021, God will show you all the riches of it that he's got for you. All this wonderful mystery that has been revealed to you. And what God wants to give you in 2021. There's nothing new. It's eternal, but it's not new. Don't, don't, don't believe in what people say when they put on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. This new year, God is going to give you new blessings. It might be new because you, you haven't uh, received them yet. But God's blessing to you in 2021 are all in Christ. And this has been revealed, as Paul says, in Ephesians chapter 3, and chapter 1, and chapter 2. It has been revealed, and it is Christ in you, you in Christ. That's the mystery of Christ. So there is nothing new, and everything is eternal. So I pray that in this new, in this 2021, God will help us to get rid of the COVID, of course. But there is a worse virus than the COVID, because the COVID can only kill your body. But there is another one that can kill your soul. And that one is terrible. It's worse than COVID. The only vaccine for the other one is the blood of Christ, the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Because when he died, he killed death, eternal death. He destroyed the power of the evil one. And he has given us the promise of eternal life. God bless you and Happy New Year.